Hi guys, welcome to my new video tutorial about how to create a bootable USB pen drive uh, for installing macOS Mavericks on your computer. I already have macOS Mavericks installed on my Mac, but anyway, I downloaded it again. The first step to realize this is to have a USB key or an external hard drive. Now, after formatting the pen drive with macOS journal file system, we can click partition and then go to options here to choose GUID partition table which is selected by default and I'm okay with that because this uh, makes this USB key bootable so we'll leave it at that now we're gonna grab our Mac OS Mavericks installer that I have downloaded a few mo uh, moments ago and we gotta right click on it and show package content uh, the option here uh, must be uh, selected after we do this we're gonna open share support and we'll find the actual installer that's called install esd.dmg now if we double click it We're gonna mount the disk image. You'll see it's loading here. It's gonna take some seconds. Now we got another drive here, as you can see. Of course, it's a disk image. It's not an actual hard drive. Now, we need to grab another file that's in this folder here, but sadly it's invisible. So, we need to perform a hack in the terminal to make this file visible. Okay, I launched this command in the terminal which should make all files visible and in fact now I can see a series of files beginning with a dot which means they are invisible uh, in Unix okay we need to look for this file, base system.dmg and double click it to mount its image. Okay. I need to change the setting to launch the setup here. And now we'll see another drive here. OSX base system that contains all the files related to the operating system as you can see here. Alright, now we got all we need to proceed. Uh, now we need to go back to this utility and click restore tab here. You notice that in the source field we got the hard drive here OSX install ESD what do we need now is make a copy of this drive image here and 
select our pen drive as destination. All right, there we go. After we completed the steps, we can click Restore. You'll see a message here, are you sure do we want to erase Untitled and so on. We need to erase that, so we can go on like this. Now it'll take some time, so I ask you to be patient for some seconds. Now uh, we got two drive named OS X base system, which makes things a little confused. So I'm gonna eject one of them now we have one only drive named OSX base system which is the pen drive I've used for the install okay on my USB pen, I got an alias here called packages. I don't need that. So I'm moving it to the trash. Like this. Now, I need to replace that alias called packages with this actual folder. To make things easier, I can do like that. Okay, now I'm replacing the former alias with the actual package folder. All right, we're all good to go, and I copy the files into my pen drive. I only want to name this pen drive in a way that makes a little more sense to me, like uh, something like All right, now we only need to check we can boot from this pen drive. Let me apologize to you guys uh, uh, above all for the quality of this part of the video because I had to use my personal camera to capture this and it's not very good one, uh, as quality. Uh, after you restart your iMac with your mm, pen drive you just created plugged in and you press down the option key at boot up and you'll see a list of available devices among which there will be your pen drive uh, select your pen drive from the list of devices and uh, after a while uh, you'll see uh, mouse and keyboard icon uh, flickering um, after some seconds, uh, a blue arrow uh, will appear below uh, on the bottom part of the screen. If you click there, you're gonna start macOS Mavericks installation from your pen drive.
Okay, that's all I need to show you for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day. Bye-bye.